What's up guys, Rob here from Decoded and in today's video I'm going to show you how to quickly duplicate an object around a circle in Blender. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need obviously is an object. In this case I'm using this Suzanne monkey head and I've created it at the center of the scene, meaning that it's right where the 3D cursor is. This 3D cursor is basically going to be the center point of our circle. So what we need to do now is define the radius of the circle. So to do that, I'm going to go into top view with the monkey head selected. I'm going to press G to move and then Y to move it out on the Y axis to roughly where I want it to be. So somewhere like here. So now this will be the center point and then the circle will come all the way around. Right. So the second thing we want to do is we want to move the origin, which is basically the pivot point of the object, this little yellow dot, we want to move this into the center of the scene because right now if we press R to rotate we can see that the object will always move relative to that dot. So the way to do that is quite simple, we're just going to right click on the object, set origin and we're going to go origin to 3D cursor. You can see now that orange dot has moved to the middle of the scene. So now if we rotate, I'll do this in top view, if we rotate, you can see the object goes around a perfect circle. So now we just need to set Blender up so it'll automatically move different copies around the circle. So to do that, we're going to use a modifier. We're going to use the Array modifier, which you can find by going to the Modifier panel and selecting Array. And if you've never used this before, all it does is it creates loads of copies of an object. I'm going to use 18 copies. The reason I'm using 18 personally is because it's 360 degrees. So if you have one monkey head every 20 degrees, that would add up to 18, right? So I'm going to go with 18, but you can use different numbers. And then once I've got my 18 copies, I'm going to turn off relative offset. What this does is it controls basically which direction the copies are made. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn on object offset which is going to copy it relative to an object. And the object that we're going to use specifically is an empty. I'm just going to create that now by pressing Shift and A, go to empty, and then I'm going to create, I will use, you can use any of these, I'll use arrows. Right, so I'm going to select the monkey head again, go to the drop down list under object offset, select empty. Now you'll see that nothing's happened here at first because we haven't defined the rotation of the circle. So what I'm going to do is select this object again and you can see the Z axis is where I want to rotate around. If you can imagine like putting a pin in the Z axis and then spinning around it. So I'm going to press seven in the number pad to go to top view and I'm going to rotate, press Z to rotate around the Z axis. And you can see if I spin this now, it'll make those copies. Now, like I said, I want one every 20 degrees. So I'm going to press two, zero and enter. And then we now have our copies every 20 degrees all the way around. Now, interesting thing here, if we grabbed our monkey head, when in edit mode, we can scale it and they'll all scale and we can move it and they'll all move just fine. And we could even rotate them. But if we did this in object mode, if we try to rotate them or move them, then that would mess with the pivot point. So you want to make sure any changes that you make, make them in edit mode if you want to scale things up or things like that. But other than that, guys, that's a very simple method I know, but it works very, very well. And I personally use this quite often to do different modeling techniques and things. It's a real lifesaver. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I have a big video coming out in the next two or three days. It's going to be worth being subscribed to say that. So make sure you hit the button and check it out. Also turn on the notifications uh, so you'll get an alert whenever I put the video up.